San Francisco, California, a fascinating and now controversial experiment has been underway since 1972. Here. Research Here. psychologist Here. Penny Patterson is teaching lowland gorilla Coco the American sign language of the deaf. Dr. Patterson claims Coco has a working vocabulary of about 450 signs, and that because Patterson also talks while signing, Coco understands hundreds of spoken words as well. And down from the tree now that you've had five green <laughs> For many years, researchers have been fascinated with the language possibilities in chimpanzees. Patterson is the first to work with gorillas. In Coco's okay. mobile home, not far from yeah, Patterson's yeah. house, even breakfast is a time for work. Should I pour there? All right. This is hot. You stir, Coco. It needs to be stirred. OK, now try it. Michael. In an adjoining yeah, room of the trailer, a trainer works with seven-year-old Michael. Dickel? All right, where? Where, underarm? It is hoped that one day, he and Coco will mate. <laughs> Can you find something soft? Coco? Can you find something soft? Is there something soft here? Yes, that's soft. That, yes, I feel it, it's nice. What color is that? Oh, yes, it's orange. You're very smart. Good apple. Okay, but first, let's look at something. Let's get a new one. Take that one out. Let's see, which one would you like to look at, Coco? We have three new ones. Which one? The monkeys. Okay, the monkeys. Monkeys, all right. Let's see, I'll get them out. Okay, here, let's change. One. Change them. Okay. Finish that one. Can you tell me about what you see? Can you tell me a little about that? What do you see? Margie, trouble! Wait a minute. I've got to see if there's someone in here that looks like Margie. Just a minute. Well, there's a monkey swimming on this one. Just, just be patient. Be patient. I have to look. Penny wants to. Penny wants to look. I guess he was anybody like Margie. Somehow. Well, there's a girl that looks like Margie. Yes, there's a girl feeding a monkey, and she looks a bit like Margie. Now, what's wrong here? Is there anything wrong? Picture? With reading readiness tests used with human children, Patterson tests Coco's grasp of concepts. Yes, that, good. And then you say the tree? Well, you showed me the trees and that was wrong, right. Anything else wrong? Anything else wrong? Hmm? Yes. They have that, the lady and the tiger. Oh, that is a bit weird. Look at, look at these, these are pretty neat. Coco, look, there are stars. Can you find the eyes in this picture? Right, those are the eyes. Critics of okay. ape language studies claim that the animals are not creating true language that it is merely mimicry or responses evoked by inadvertent cues. Patterson is quick to point out that Coco often signs to herself. In this case, several repetitions of flower and hat. Clearly, Patterson says, something more complex than mimicry is involved in the mental capacities Coco displays. OK, no, Coco, I asked you to stay over here. Perhaps criticism will abate as apes begin to sign to each other. Patterson reports instances of this between Coco and Mike and hopes they will eventually pass on their abilities to their offspring. But work aside at day's end, there is time now just for fun.
thirsty today because it's hot. More, I think you need more. More water. Okay, that's enough. Linguists and philosophers argue the definition of language and whether it is uniquely human. In academic corridors, the debate will go on. But for now, few can deny we have glimpsed a mind more fascinating than ever imagined before. You look tired. Oh, dear. A pretty drawing ruined by a gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. By knowing more about gorillas, about their intelligence, how sensitive they are, how perceptive they are, we can hope to convey the importance of saving gorillas as a species to people who are living with them and are competing with them. Um, if they realize how similar to man they are, perhaps conservation efforts will be enhanced. Mm -hmm.